yeah i mean i said this is uh, the money uh, yeah uh, um, actually we are uh, looking for uh, embedded uh, platform uh, uh, software developers uh, who can work on uh, any uh, domain hello friends i was interviewed recently by hcl technologies and i want to share that experience with you if you are interested in uh, actual uh, interview jobs and want to know what type of questions are asked there and what's the strategy to clear any embedded interview please continue with this video till end so let us talk something about actual technologies SGL is a service-based MNC. It is also an Indian MNC, and it has stock trading at stock exchange. So, if you are you want to interested in trading or investing on a stock exchange, you can get this company's share. And it is trading about 1,200 currently on a stock exchange, and its major centers are at Bangalore, Chennai, and Noida. So I have once worked in the Noida center initially. And let us talk about the actual interview questions and answers. So there were total two rounds. I am talking about the first round here. So first round consisted of one hour of technical discussion with the manager. Actually in HL, you have many projects were going on simultaneously and each project have their own managers and some managers. So the senior most manager or the project manager takes your interview discussion. So in this interview discussion, three coding questions were asked. Other were theoretical questions and some were managerial. For coding question, online compiler was asked to be uh, go to go to the online compiler and we have to share the screen with teams. And they asked us to some questions and we have to write its solution there in the compiler. And other were theoretical questions, some were managed. So coding questions asked in the round one, uh, what were they? So I will describe them, each of them. Find the length of string without using string length function. This was the first question. And the second one was the find half and double of a number without using division and multiplication number. So if you know the bitwise operators, left shift and the right shift operator, you can easily solve this problem. And there was the words of a string. The string was quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. So it, you, if you want to solve this query, you should be very good at pointers. So some hardware programming questions were also asked me in this round that were tell procedures of generating 50 Hertz waveform without using interrupt and different modes of GPIO. So I will tell you 50 Hertz waveform can be generated using only output compare or you can use PDLOM as well to generate this waveform. And different modes of GPIO are alternate function in GPIO input and GPIO output and analog mode. In analog mode, you can use the ADC to read the analog signal and for alternate function mode you can use the gpios in any other peripheral mode like uart or timers or spi or i2c many more are there okay can you uh, write a small uh, program um, uh, assume I have a 8-bit uh, variable okay, eight bit that variable. has some, uh, yeah, that has an uninitialized uh, value. Maybe you can assume some garbage value. Okay. So I wanted to toggle alternate bits. 
either it can be a even bits or odd bits okay. i need to toggle okay so what is the logic you can think of so or uh, if you can uh, write a uh, code also fine so I, if I you will, have uh, suppose i will take input from user if it is even or odd depending on it i hmm. will uh, just uh, hmm. write a statement for two different hmm. cases in if hmm. and if else if that hmm. uh, if it is even then even bit should be toggled that hmm. is a bit wise operator only that uh, that is uh, that uh, what we call it that toggle operator is there toggle equal to hmm. and we i hmm. will toggle that variable uh, that register or variable whatever it is okay so uh, can you just uh, write a simple uh, program uh, on uh, uh, some yeah, text sure. editor or something just share my screen uh, uh. yeah so you just saw the clip of the second round in the second round i was asked one coding question and the other questions asked were basically theoretical they were all from os topics so it lasted for about one hour and i will talk to you about uh, uh, how to get job in embedded domain what's the best strategy we use you can use the strategy to get job in embedded domain it is for experienced persons only but freshers can also use this strategy to get the job you need to give as many as interview related to profile and make a list of general question asked by the persons which are asking in the interview and after this you should be selected in private interview sessions or in private interviews after you give them you should be get selected easily but it depends from person to person and if i ask about the eligibility criteria for excel technologies there is no eligibility criteria for experienced person for recruitment into the excel technologies for fresher some eligibility criteria is there like 60% or 70% marks they ask so this was all from my side yeah i think um, uh, your profile uh, um, is uh, matching for our requirement we will get into the detailed uh, discussion